in this video we are going to discuss effects of lag compensator so we can see these effects stability increases we already discussed about lag compensators that means we already analyzed lag compensators so lag compensators are going to provide sinusoidal input output with phase lag whenever sinusoidal input is given whenever you are giving sinusoidal input to a lag compensator it will produce the sinusoidal output with some phase lag so lag means with decreased or negative phase so here stability because of this if if you are using if you are using any lag compensator in a control system how it will affect that control system means it will stabilize the system that means stability will increase and bandwidth will decrease and rise time will increase and transient response become poor we already discussed this effects for lead compensator also by using any compensator stability is increase St stability will increase by using any compensator why because the main intention of using compensator is that only so to increase the stability we are going to use compensators by this the stability of the system is going to increase or it's going to stabilize the system and coming to here bandwidth will decrease but in case of lead compensator bandwidth is going to increase so if you want to increase the bandwidth then you need to use lead compensator if you want to decrease the bandwidth then you can use lag compensator and coming to rise time so in this case rise time will increase that means the time to reach the the, the time to reach 0% to 100% of its initial value the time taken for the response to reach 0 to 100% of its initial value for under damped system is the rise time so here the rise time here is going to increase that means the time to reach its 100% value is going to increase it will take much time to get that maximum response but in case of lead compensator so rise time is going to decrease and coming to transient response in previous lead compensator transient response will be increased so that means improvement is there in transient response but here the transient response will become poor so now here the steady state response will increase if you want to increase the steady state response then you should use this lag compensator and coming to the network as you know the network of lag compensator so that will be in this form so that will be like this so this is in the form of low pass network so it can effectively eliminate high frequency noise as it eliminates high frequency signals so here whenever high frequency noise is there so that can also be eliminated by this low pass type of compensator network so which compensator can eliminate high frequencies means this lag compensator can effectively eliminate the high frequency noise entering at high frequencies of input so this is about different effects of lag compensator in next session we will discuss about lagly compensator